Welcome back everyone, Drake Hawkins with you again, and we're back for some more EU4. And this time, we've gotten ourselves into a nice little war. Mm. Second time we're at war with France in so many years. I think it's been less than a year since we pieced them out of the Scottish War. And the moment we did, Russia called them in as an ally defensively because Poland decided they want this province territory area back here uh, for Lithuania. So Russia is big land-wise, huge land-wise. I, I would be surprised if that's not Russian territory right up here. They own basically everything north of the Ming, in Ming, uh, of the Empire of China area, basically. They're just huge. In fact, China is huge. Um, so, Russia, uh, was declared on by Poland, our ally, so they called us in. And so now it is, uh, po Russia and France, and I guess Ferreira as well, uh, against Poland and its allies, and Prussia, us, and our allies. Uh, at the same time, we are also dealing with our new frontiers here, the Caribbean. We've got uh, 13k and 12k units each, respectively. Oh, the Gulf. That finished. Good. Uh, what has he got for ships? Very little. I think if we take... Oh, there we go. If we take these guys, select mission... Uh, no, you are on the mission. You're still on your mission. Okay. You guys can go back to, tra to defending trade in Luka. Uh, Lubeck, rather. Uh, and you guys can go back to protecting trade in the Baltic Sea. Good, I like that. Okay, so how are things on the Eastern Front? The, the Polish and Lithuanian troops? Klebs has entered a coalition against us. I think these guys are seeing a potential weakness since we're already at war with Russia and France, but I don't think anybody of any substance can get into a war here that doesn't already have a truce with us. <clears throat> uh, Poland has 18 tech, 19 tech for Lithuania. Uh, we're sitting at uh, 18 military tech. Really, 19's available? Uh, two years ahead of time. So Lithuania is two years ahead of time militarily. How about Russia? How you doing? You're on 18 still, and France is sitting on 18. Okay. So th that part of things is pretty par on, on par at the moment. Uh, it looks like uh, the Prussian 14th Army in sitting out in Antwerp here is going to be sitting in Antwerp for a while because the Netherlands has blocked us. And our ships are busy in the New World, so... We have the 25k moving down to take care of the Ferreira troops. I think Mantua might be able to win it. Nope, they're going to lose it if we don't get in there in time. Come on. You're friends of the Prussian Empire. You therefore are perfectly safe. So some of your people may die. It might happen. Crunch, 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 crunch. Stack wiped. Yeah, Fur has no more troops. So minus 42 there. That's nice. We'll keep that. Hey, keep time rolling, mister. Uh, how are we doing over in Zinuverald? Where is Zinuverald? There we go. Let's head over that way to look at things. All right, group up here, and we're going to go ahead and knock this army straight on its head. First hit, that is Hills. All right, let's see this fight. Uh, Switzerland has entered a military coalition against us. Oh, no. Empress Consort Regency. Our, em our emperor died. Oh, that's sad. He wasn't leading an army, was he? Probably was. Hopefully not anywhere key. Um, troops. You still have, uh, yeah, Benjamin Quigzo. You're not going to get away, buddy. You are not going to... Oh, my gosh. Look at the morale difference. 5.2. They start pretty much dead morale already. Salzburg's entered the coalition. I can't spark a coalition fight anywhere at any time, though. You're going to go there and then back to there. And you'll shift consolidate your units. Just a bit of rearrangement. Should have moved them there and then there. That was sick. Stack to 4,000. Hopefully we'll stack this group too. There is definitely a war going on in Europe, but we'll see about that later. Because this is of more importance to me. Yay, there we go. All right, split, split. There and the... There. 
All right. Siege, siege. You guys come up and uh, dock in here, please. That's going to be the Grand Fleet ready. Why why did you just change your name? Why did you do that? This is the Grand Fleet. Not the Grand Fellet, the Grand Fleet. All right. They are they should be repaired almost entirely. They're fully repaired. Good. Apparently two galleys. Poor guys having to row across the ocean. We may not take them back with us. That might be silly. I don't know. We could have them join the uh, hangout and patrol the Baltic Sea, I suppose. That should be the last territory in the French West Indies, or the Scottish West Indies. Over there. Now, how's the war going over here on the west? Well, we have French troops squeaking through here. Uh, Ferrer's at minus 28. Still got dudes hanging out in uh, the Netherlands. They can't... Oh, they can get out now. Okay, good, good, good. They'll go Le take down Liege. Uh, you are sieging, you are sieging, and you can actually change plans. You can go over here. No? Apparently you can't go over there. Why can we not go over there? Good. Okay. And then you come siege down the edge. I really like one of these guys to have a leader, because that would be nice. Minus 28. How's things going on the east coast here, guys? <clears throat> Got a few sieges. Successful. Claiming the West Indies. Good. Uh, the levy. Okay, nobility, lose loyalty, lose a bunch of money, nobility, gain loyalty, and lose influence. Uh, lose five prestige, lose loyalty, and lose influence. National taxes, that massive hit to the money. I'm okay with them just losing a bit of loyalty. Not a big deal at this point. Solid wars going on here. Uh, has there been any major battles? Ostrakhand, there was a win by the Alliance. We killed the Ferrarans, that was a point five. Gulf of Finland, those ships were actually a decent hit. I think when this guy in Ferrara is done, he'll go take the war goal just to make sure it starts ticking. Actually, he won't. Poland seems to already be on its way. Good. All right, so Scotland. Let's see. If I do. You don't have any fortresses over here, do you? Whoa, 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 whoa. Actually, close that. You don't have any. Do you have fortresses? You do have a fortress. Okay. I guess that would be your capital, right? right? <clears throat> so, Tortuga itself. Keep you guys up. Keep doing the sieging. This shift, I don't know why shift consolidates. Pointless. Um, you fellows over here. Now, what I would like to do from Scotland is to take some territory in uh, in here. Costs just about nothing, doesn't it? Can't take that one. I can take that. I can take that. I can take that, and that. Can I get any further? I don't think I can grab these, can I? No. Cannot make it a core. Okay, but can Norway make them a core? If I give this control to Norway, and this, which is also out of my reach, control to Norway, then end the war here with giving that to Norway and that to Norway. Yep, that works. Okay, so that is 35% war score. Taking all of the Scottish West Indies, the entire thing. <laughs> That's beautiful. I'm pretty happy with that. Am I able to also take Sutherland and... Yes, I can. Beautiful. And their money. 
I don't know that they have any war reparations options at this point. Knowing treaties is useless because they're gone. I'll revoke cores. Doesn't matter. All our orange or green? Yes, that's everything. We take the entirety of Scotland and its colony. Done. Bam, look at that. Hello. Hello, Prussian Caribbeans. <laughs> is this a colony or is this going to be a... It might actually colon, uh, become a colony. That's I'm okay with that if it does. But... So the Turks and Caicos and Camagüe and Jamaica and Havana, those are all Norwegian turf. They've got a couple colonies here. Beautiful. Okay, so lots and lots of coring potential here. These don't count as, why do they contribute no potent, no, oh, because they're overseas, right? That must be it. The only provinces that actually contribute are nothing. Oh, there we go. The Highlands, Highlander and Highlander culture, Sutherland, and... Or the West Indies. These do not. I'm okay with that. Uh, overextension is... Oh boy, these don't give you overextension. Oh, I love this. Does that mean we have a colony? Uh, we shouldn't have that call for peace anymore, I don't think. There is 43 French ships there. Okay. Uh, back over here, I think what we'll do is we're going to hire, like... A bit of dudes to send over this way. I think we're gonna do this. We're going to have um, two artillery and we can take two horse and then what eight six infantry six infantry two artillery two horse and two artillery <coughs> should be enough to do the job. Maybe seven infantry and one... No, that's fine. Just like that. So that army, the first army, is going to be selected. And this is going to be the um, colonial... Um, colonial Defense Force Tortuga. Excellent. And it doesn't have a leader, nor is it going to get a leader. This army is the 4th Imperial. And they are going to head out. So we go over here. Love it. Uh, that guy can attach, and you can come back to, to Europe. With your 47 ships. You're going to come back up to probably Inverness is fine. For the time being, you'll re recoup your troops up there. No real battles been going on here in the west front. We have zero percent chance in Ferrera. We have a minus thirty-five and a plus twenty-eight down here. We got a, a plus fourteen, minus forty-nine. Hess has entered the coalition against us. What? Who's in the coalition? This is great. Uh, Hess, Cleves, Salzburg, Switzerland, and the Netherlands. The only one that's actually got any troop count there is the Netherlands. And they're mostly naval. How are you doing over here, Russia, Prussia? I mean Poland. <clears throat> Poland, you are considering yourself to be winning the war. Say 4%. Um, defender of the Catholic faith. Austria is defender of the Catholic faith. Alright, Siege of Ferreira is over. Uh, I think we go ahead and start smacking around some troops. Are we, we're not at war with Switzerland, are we? Oh, those are the Swiss uh, defenders. We're going to start messing around with some Frenchies here. Alsace! I think you're going to grab a new general. Oh, beautiful. Five, four, six, three. I'll take it. You jump in there. You jump into Tyrol and see what we can mess up here with these straggling Frenchmen. Uh, too many military leaders? Yeah, but that's okay. We're not going to be coring any of the rest of this, because this is all 
New World stuff. Improvements in naval technologies. Um, an inflation and diplo points, or just a few diplo points? We'll do the inflation and diplo points. It's okay if we spend money rather than points. We're minus 32! Whee! Uh, yeah, that's pricey. Our armies are expensive. Reinforcing at 21. Our navy is for over force limit for 632. Jeepers. State maintenance, states, colonies, forts being maintained. Do we have forts that we don't want? We could probably consider dropping some forts. Our advisors are wildly expensive. I just stack wiped nine of the French. That's good. We're going to pull through here and find him in Waldstad. You're going to meet up with this guy and actually... You stop, stop. We'll, we'll spend the points to do it. As soon as you arrive in Citroën. Good. Smack a few units. Oh, there we go. Well, look at you. That's awkward. Um, that's quite awkward. What are you going to do to this province? Because you are going to win. Oh, you're sieging down the province. You're probably going to break my dude. Uh, can we buy ships here? We cannot. Well, I think Tortuga at least needs to be cored. Can't cord. Well, we'll core this one, I guess. 37 months. Yeah, we'll core that province. And... Why are you not named the defense, the colonial defense force, Tortuga? Good. What's the other, the other army? Did they get uh, renamed that? Fourth Imperial? No. They're in Inverness. Okay, so they need to. Uh, oh, you know what? No, maybe we won't do that because we're already over force limit, aren't we? No, we're not. We're below our force limit. Okay, we're going to conform you to the court. You need 160 bucks to build, huh? Well, intentionally taking a, a loan, that's a thing. Smash a few French. Grab this army up here. Tell you to upgrade. To the Space Marines. Uh, this is whom? Benjamin Quickzo. Come down to Inverness, please, and you take Benjamin with you. Sign. That's going to be in Antwerp. That's unfortunate. We have a free set of troops available at the moment. Not really. You guys are in quick march, so you can go up to Antwerp. You can follow these guys and head into the end. Lovely. How long? Not long until that's going to pop, to be honest. And this guy can attach. We're running out of time here again. What? Oh, they just pieced out Ferreira. I see. What'd you do with the piece for Ferreira? War reps, money, nothing else. Okay. They've damaged the colony. They didn't damage the colony, they obliterated the colony. That's unfortunate. Okay, can I... Well, this will core, and then I'll be able to build a colony elsewhere, I suppose. That's that's too bad. Can I do the... Where, where else can I co colony? These guys all have, like, aggressive dudes at them. And we haven't smashed them around yet, so... And this is cord, then we'll have it, but for now, mm, okay. So, we'll wait until that the front, the English army arrives. Well, no, let's go over here. Let's uh, send a colonist back there. 186 days till he arrives. We'll go over here, make sure that this uh, army is attaching and heading over to Antwerp. 
As long as the Netherlands exists, we're going to keep spawning these things. <clears throat> no longer consider me a rival. The Ottomans no longer consider me a rival. That wasn't like a... No. Okay. I was going to say, did they, did we didn't dwarf them or something. Did they fall apart? But no, they didn't. They're just fine. You are going into Graz. Let's head into Graz, too. They're just, they just can't stand the, the force, the power that these crazy Prussians wield. Trier has entered the coalition. I think that's everybody now. Everybody that can be, or as they come are able to, they're going to join in bit by bit. We are losing 26 ducats turn. We're just, we're out of time here. Uh, so financially, this is going to be a bit before it recovers. We have costs of a little more forts than we probably need at this point. Our army maintenance, not crazy. Our fleet is a little expensive. Uh, rooting out corruption is costing us about half of our deficit. And interest is another quarter of our deficit. So, you know, that's that's not pleasant, but we're going to grab some money and pay off some debts. Can we do that yet? We can't yet. Uh, we have a, I don't have a serious issue with finances because at this point, you know, we're gaining so much from these... Uh, conquests that seem to be constant conquests. I'm just smacking around the Frenchies all over the place here. It's fantastic. Catching them piecemeal too. They're, they're being stupid and splitting up and running for their lives. I love it. Uh, the troops should arrive in Antwerp real so shortly. You're almost there. And you're about to dock. Good. Uh, what was that? Oh, did we crush some fleet out there? That's good. Let you pop into town. We'll hit that button. Take out the defenders or the rebels of Antwerp. The Netherlands Rebellion. And it's gone before we even clear the screen. Alright. You are probably. Oh, Calais is finished. Good. You're going to come down and uh, siege there. You're going to take on the French there. You're going to join him. Good. The French will be crushed again. But we have a colony forming in the New World, which is fantastic. I think it's amazing. Uh, I would like uh, some of these ships. These two can be more, they can be disbanded, please. And I would like some of these transports, and we'll regain our transports later. Uh, we'll rebuild. Let's grab ten of these guys. And we'll head them uh, where? I guess they should probably not run too loosey-goosey, should they? Since we are in a war with the French. You know what? I'll take the whole fleet over. We'll, do we'll, we'll stay together. Come on. We'll keep the whole fleet together, um, and we're going to send them back to the New World. And they can pop in here, and then they'll be able to go ahead and stomp out the uh, resistance in the area. We'll take the Caribbean. That'll be a nice new goal. We'll take whatever turf we take from England and from the Netherlands. They have territory in there. Um, French units fighting the Bavarians. Scoop up here, smashing down some guys. That's good. Smacky smack. The variants are doing well. So that's where we're going to put in a cut. Uh, things have uh, <coughs> have proceeded. That was proceeded quite well, actually. You are going to go take that pro. No, you can't reach it. That province. Oh, that's unfortunate. How about there? And you just there. We'll wait for the siege. You can head back to Tyrol. We're just running around smacking French reinforcements trying to get through to Poland and uh, sieging northern France. So thank you so much for joining me. We'll continue next episode and uh, maybe find a way to expand our new Caribbean uh, empire and uh, see about shuffling trade in a way that works for us. Look to what maybe we can hit next to get some trade territory. Um... Yeah, we need French 
Canada, maybe, to shuffle things to the north. Maybe that would be the way to go. I don't know. We'll see you in game.